Good morning, this is Brett with Video Hot Rod and I have another video filter for you today. Today's video filter is Sharpen. Now, before I get into it, what Sharpen is designed to do is to make a clip that's slightly out of focus, make it look like it's in focus. If it's really out of focus, it's not going to help much. But you can see on this one here, there's kind of some soft areas around here, soft on her eyes. This particular camera is really difficult to focus because I can't zoom in, focus, and zoom out. Instead, I have to actually measure the distance and hope I stay in that distance because it's handheld all the time. Um, so a lot of times I get a soft focus on this camera. So Sharpen is designed to fix that. And usually, by default, it does a pretty good job. You can see before and after, you can see how soft it is through her eyes, just slightly, and now you can actually see her eyes a, a little bit sharper. Generally speaking, the default amount is all you need. What it does is looks for areas of high contrast and adds a little bit of line to it or, or detail to it. But sometimes you might need to go more. Now, to me, going this far actually kind of makes the clip look dirty because it's going to bring some artifacts out. Um, it looks sharp, but it looks a little cheaper compared to even this. And then as you go too much, it just completely kills the clip. So I generally don't go very far if I'm going to use this filter. Right about there, maybe it's about four. This tends to look pretty good for me. All right, let's go ahead and go through the entire clip. And you can see, well, you're not really going to see it as it's playing because it's going to go back to low res. You can see how clean this, not clean, but how sharp this grass is. You can see the definite edge around the photographer and around the subject. Here, this is the before, this is the after. It makes it look like it's more in focus. We already saw Rachel. We'll move on to Alex. This is Alex before, Alex after. And this is the cars before, cars after. You can see in the grill you kind of get a little more A now, whereas you didn't before. And here's these rocks. And the singer dudes. All right, I've used this filter many times. It's a it's a very good filter, and it's actually a lifesaver. I did have an issue one time where the back focus of my camera went out. I didn't realize it had not been adjusted properly, and I was just having a real difficult time focusing on the subject that I needed to to focus on. And this filter at the end of the day came through and helped me out. All right, this is Brett from Video Hot Rod, and click those buttons and leave me some comments if you want to know any more. All right, thank you very much for watching.